We hope you're doing good. In this video, we'll be looking at one of the best free scheduling software, as I'll be showing you step by step how to use Setmore in this tutorial. And the reason why Setmore is so highly rated is because even though it is completely free, you'll be able to integrate numerous payment options so you can start collecting payments also using this platform. To get started with Setmore, all you'll need to do is go onto setmore.com. And by the way, if I were to show you their pricing right here, you can see that on the free plan, you'll be able to accept unlimited appointments. And just like I stated earlier, you'll be able to accept payments. You can also customize your booking page. You also get access to their iOS and Android apps. So that means that you'll be able to access your dashboard using your mobile device. You can also customize your notifications and you can create email reminders for your customers and so much more. And in, in the future, you'd like to go onto their paid plan. You can see that it starts off at a very affordable price of $5. Now to get started, once on setmore.com, you're going to simply tap on start for free after entering your email address. After you have done that, you'll be redirected to a dashboard just like this. Once on this dashboard, you have a few options. The first thing you can do if you already have a calendar that you'll normally use, for example, Google Calendar or Apple Calendar, you could tap on connect calendar right here. And then from there, you could connect your calendar. But the first thing that I would recommend you do is go over to the left hand menu option and you're going to tap on services. After you have tapped on services, you can see some preloaded services right here that they have added. Now to add your first service, you'll simply tap on new service category. After you have done that, you can enter a service category name. So for example, let's say consultation. So I'll type in consultation right here. After you have done that, you can tap on create. Once you have tapped on create from here, you can tap on add services. After you have tapped on add services, you could select one of the sample services, for example, that one, and I'll tap on update. After you have done that, all you'll need to do now, you can tap on the three dots in line with the service name. Then you're going to tap on edit. After you have tapped on edit from here, you can change the duration. So for example, you can clear the current duration and let's say, for example, our consultant service will last for 45 minutes. You can also add a buffer time if you want. So let's say, for example, a buffer time of five minutes. Then you can also add the price that you will charge. So let's say, for example, $100. And from here, you could select location, whether it is in person or online. After you have done that, all you need to do is simply scroll down and tap on update. And in the future, if you have added team members, you could select the team members right here. You can also add a cover image for your service by simply tapping on upload image. Once you're finished, you're going to tap on update. After you have tapped on update, you can see that we have now created our first service. And to share it, it is quite easy. For example, you could tap on share right here. And then from there, you could copy the booking link. So for example, I've copied the link. If I were to paste it right here, you can see how the booking page looks. So you can see how it looks right here. So all they'll need to do from here, they can simply select my name. Then from there, they can scroll down. They can set the, pre the time better, the date, and they can also select the time as you can see right there. After doing that, they'll be prompt to log in. So they could log in right there. And after they have logged in, they'll enter their first and last name if they don't want to log in. Then from there, they'll tap on book. After tapping on book, they'll be prompt to enter their payment information. And to set up the payment information, it is quite easy. All you'll need to do once on the set more dashboard, you're going to go over to the left hand menu option. And from here, you're going to tap on settings. After tapping on settings, the first thing you can do, you can tap on your profile and from here you can set up your working hours by tapping on working hours. 
For example, you can see at the moment I am set at 10 to 3 p.m. Let's say we'd like to change that and I will only be working from 9 a.m. So I'll say 9 a.m. to, for example, 4 p.m. Then I'm going to tap on apply to all or you can apply each. You can set it for each day if you want. After you have done that, you can also tap on breaks. And you can set when you would like to set your breaks, when you'd like to add breaks, so you can do that right there. If you would like to set any time offs, you can do that by tapping on time off. You can add your time offs right there. You can also edit the different services that you offer by tapping on services right here. You can tap on assign services and you can edit the different services. You can also tap on integrations and from here, you can see the different calendars that you can integrate as you can see right here. And by tapping on about, you can see how it looks. So you can add a phone number right here and you can edit each. For example, if you'd like to edit the URL, you can edit the URL that they provide you with. And to add team members, all you'll need to do is tap on your team. And then from here, you'll be able to tap on the plus to add team members. To view the services, you could tap on services right here and you can create new more services by tapping on the plus in the top right hand corner. Now to edit your booking page, you'll simply tap on booking page. From here, you can upload a banner image and you can also upload a profile image. And if you'd like to share it via QR code, you can do that by tapping on QR code right there. You can also add booking policies by tapping here. You can add booking preferences. You can also set it up by customization. You can do that right there. Now to add the payment options, you will tap on payments. Then from here, you can see that you can connect Square, Stripe, PayPal, Cash Transaction, and also Law Pay. So there are numerous options that you can set up. You can also accept booking payment page payments by toggling it on right here. And that's about it. Once you're finished setting up everything, all you'll need to do now, for example, we can tap right here and you can go onto your page and you can paste it right there and you'll be able to view how your booking page looks. At the moment, this is how it looks right here. So you can see the different services that I offer and they can select a service and they can follow through with the booking. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative as I do consider Setmore one of the best free booking softwares around. Going over to the left hand column, once they're on your booking page, they can tap on reviews. And if it just is a case that they like to leave a review, they could tap on write review and they can quickly write a review. So you'll be able to have this social proof that your service is working or so on. And then from there, you'll be able to get more customers as you will now show social proof. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.